Hi, I'm Larry McAtee, Ward 3 City Councilman, and today we have a real delight for you. We have two ladies that are going to be talking to us about senior things that are coming up in Oklahoma City. And uh, first we have Cheryl Presley from the Oklahoma City Police Department. Hi. And your title is officially Cheryl? The Triad Coordinator, and it's such an honor to be here, sir. Well, thank you, and we'll talk about Triad in just a minute. And then we have a famous radio personality with us, Eunice Corey. Eunice, thank you for switching over to the television environment today for oh, us. Oh, well, this is a fun environment, and thank you for having us today. And now, Eunice, you're on uh, KTOK? Right. I start out, I am the first live program every Saturday morning at 7 o'clock on News Radio 1000 KTOK. And this will be a shameless commercial. What do you talk about at that show, uh, Eunice? You know, for the last 12 years, we have talked about senior issues and ways that um, seniors can just watch out, make some good good important decisions and I've had the opportunity to have Cheryl on a number of times because Triad is very important to seniors. Now you have a vested interest uh, from your background on why you think this uh, type of uh, informing seniors and getting connected is so important. How about sharing that with our viewers? Well, a long time ago, I am from Arkansas, so I moved to Oklahoma in 1989 by choice. But a long time ago in Arkansas, I would say it was the late 70s, early 80s, my father had a health issue. And all I can say is if I knew then what I knew now, my father would have had an inheritance to leave to his grandchildren instead of going to the state of Arkansas. So it's real important to be informed and to make some good decisions. And so that's really what we're here today to talk about informing seniors. What does Triad do to, to carry out that mission, Cheryl? Well, we do several things. One of the things that we do monthly is we have monthly meetings, sir. And we're blessed to have in the Oklahoma City metro area three Triad locations. We have Triad North, South, and East. Our Triad North group meets the second Thursday of every month at 1.30 at the Indian Shrine Center located at 3601. Northwest 36th and that's our original group that started 15 years ago. Can you believe it? Our North and East group started about four and a half years ago. Our, uh, our correction, uh, South and East group. South location meets the third Thursday at 1.30 at Woodson Senior Park mm -hmm. at 3401 South May. And then our uh, East Side location meets the third Monday at 10 a.m. at our Spring Lake Station at 4116 North Project. But you know, Triad is crime prevention for seniors. It's a partnership between the police department, the sheriff's office, and our seniors. And our primary goal is to reduce criminal victimization. But what I tell our citizens, if you're over 55, it's your greatest weapon against crime. Everybody, every day, every morning probably has a routine where they go out and they go to the newspaper or they flip the TV on, they may go to their computer or even our iPhones and we look at the news app. But what we are trying to do is get the latest local news and traffic reports that are going on in our city. But we are so advanced being out there on the front lines, Councilman McAtee, that we actually are able to educate our seniors about the scams before it even hits that type of media. So we feel very blessed to have that in our city with our Triad program. So Triad is about informing seniors. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, how many seniors do we have in Oklahoma City, and what's the future look like, uh, Eunice? Well, I look at our demographics here in Oklahoma City, 26% of the people are over 55. So if you're not a member of Triad, you need to call Cheryl at 642-9271 and get informed. Great information. Because not only getting informed, once you get informed, you are, were telling me off camera, you have a, a goal for those seniors to do what to their fellow seniors? Well, they share. You know, they'll share it with their neighbors, and that's the way Oklahoma City used to be. You knew everybody in your neighborhood. And we're getting so big that people sometimes feel a little disconnected because somebody's new in the neighborhood. Well, in where I came from, we knocked on the door with a plate of cookies and said, Hi, y'all. I'm <laughs> Eunice. I'm your neighbor. And I think people have gotten away from that. Yeah, where I was from, we didn't knock on the door and say, hi, y'all. We said, hi, yous guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're from the South, you just don't ever get rid of that. <laughs> Tell us about what's coming up in, in Triad. Now, That's the other a thing. a special event coming up. Yes, sir. The other thing we do with Triad is we have events throughout the community all through the year, and the best part about them is that they're at no charge to any of our citizens in the city. We're very big about that. But we have our annual Informed Senior Seminar that will be on at the, uh, 2600 Northeast 63rd 
at the Northeast Regional Center, and we're so excited. We're going to have a disaster panel, and one of our uh, officers that works on our emergency management team, he will be part of the panel, Sergeant Jason Knight, and then we have uh, two other people that will be part of the panel that day. So, And then we're going to have a couple of breakout sessions. We're going to have scams, uh, fire extinguisher training, and then how to uh, crisis planning. So we're very excited. And also Remington Park has been gracious this year to donate uh, the Continental Breakfast for our seniors. Okay, now the, the date of that is when? It's going to be April 11th. and it's April 11th. At 8.30 in the morning. And it's going to run from 8.30 until? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. And the cost to me as a senior will be? No free, or no charge, free. No charge. And uh, now, and where is it going to be at? It's going to be at 2600 Northeast 63rd at the Northeast Regional Wellness Center through the Oklahoma City County Health Department. And many of our seniors probably don't know about that complex. Eunice, how about giving our seniors just an overview of that particular complex? Well, it just opened last year. Uh, and when you go, like if you make the exit on Martin Luther King, like you're going to the racetrack, you would just go, uh, you would take the Northeast 63rd exit. And it's probably a mile up there, just right off of the, off of Northeast 63rd. Brand new facility. I am so proud of the health department for the new facility because because it's not only going to have health provisions in there, they have a walking track, they have a, about a three-year plan to make this a real health center location for seniors here in Oklahoma City. So attending the, uh, the informed seminar will also give them an opportunity to see the, uh, what, what's offered at the, at the uh, City County Health facility up there. Yes, and we're so excited. We've not had an event on the northeast part of Oklahoma City with Triad uh, since we've started 15 years ago, and so we're very excited to bring us bring this type of event to the northeast part of Oklahoma City, but of course we want all of our citizens of Oklahoma City to please attend if they're able to. Now, uh, if I'm out there and uh, I've got an interest in attending, uh, what do I need to do? You can give me a call at 642-9271-642-9271. Nine two seven one, and actually, it's on a first come, uh, first serve basis. How many are you anticipating being able to handle? We hope to have over three hundred. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, you mentioned something uh, in in talking about the informed seminar. You said informing seniors about scams. Yes. What do you mean by a scam? Well, you know, unfortunately, uh, our seniors are such targets today. They grew up in such a wonderful generation where they could trust people. And that's really hard for them for so many years when they still have that in their mindset. But unfortunately, the scammers now are everyday type of people. And they're, what they're trying to get is cash from these seniors. We have a lot of problems, especially with people calling from overseas, uh, Nigeria, Africa, Canada. And they'll call and say, you've won money and we just need you to go to CVS or Walgreens and get a green dot card. I need you to wire me 360 or sometimes it will be several thousand dollars. Um, and the reason why they like to use the green dot card is because when you call them back with the numbers on the back of the card, then there's no way to trace that card. It's like it just poof goes away. And so it's very frustrating for those of us in law enforcement because then our officers, it, it, there's no paper trail whatsoever. A green dot card. Yes. it's. Mm -hmm. It's just like a regular credit card, but you load it like you would uh, a debit or a credit card. So I load it with X amount of money. Yes, sir. And then I use that green dot card, and that money disappears. Yes. And I'm expecting to get millions, a big, yes. big reward. Yes. Trying to get rich quick is evil and leads to poverty, but... Mm -hmm. uh, it does. Uh, and we educate our seniors. We go over scenarios all the time. We go over the latest scams and we really teach them, you know, if you don't know the caller calling you and especially when they want personal information or they're trying to tell you you've won something and you need to send money, just hang up that phone. And we're always keeping them educated because I think education is so important. And that's what you do in your radio program, do you not educate the seniors on every, a regular basis? Every Saturday morning, and it is an opportunity to be able to share quality information. And I know, even though I'll have a regular guest some Saturday, if there's an event that's happened here in the city, uh, Cheryl is always my first one to be able to get on. Because if I can save a senior $1,000, you know, that's a big deal. Now, for a senior out there, if you had to give them some succinct advice. What would it be, Eunice? Well, it's Other funny. than come to the informed senior <laughs> seminar. Okay, we want to come back to that. Life is all about planning. I think our, the Bible, it's the basic instruction before we leave earth. 
we need to have a basic instruction before we leave Earth, and that's called have a plan. And everybody's situation is different. I mean, you know, you can have a single lady. Hers is different than if you talk to a couple. So it's sitting down with a person that really specializes, and maybe they're not trying to sell you something. They're just looking at what is the best thing for this couple, or what is the best thing for this lady or this gentleman. Have a plan. And so this is one avenue that we're trying to reach that 26% of our population. Absolutely. And of course, the other is your ongoing uh, work of Triad. Yes. Uh, Triad's been in business for how long? 15 years. Okay. And what's the goal for Triad as we move forward? Well, you know, we've been blessed because Oklahoma City is 620 square miles to, try, to have Triad north, south, and east. We would love to have a Triad west. Someday. I have a great goal. We need 5,000 members. This is a challenge. If you're a senior watching today, we need to up the membership to 5,000. I love Not that. Not because of the membership mm -hmm. quota, but to get those seniors connected with one another. Absolutely. Because a cord of two or three is hard to be broken, and uh, mm -hmm. we can help each other out, can't we? Absolutely. Boy, I like that vision. I, I like do, that vision. I do. Can we, can we recruit you to be head of Triad? <laughs> Well, I feel like I am a member because I do participate, but like Cheryl said, you know, it is an opportunity to share these events, and one of the reasons we can do that without charging anybody a fee to come in, this year the OU Medical Center in Edmond is our title sponsor, and that means we can do a lot, lot more, and it will help us fund some of the other activities that we have for Triad through the year. Well, that's great. Time for a little shameless commercial here. The last show we did for last month dealt with the senior wellness centers that are a part of MAPS 3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we had the, uh, the operator, the proposed operator for our North Center uh, come out and talk about that. Uh, that's something that's going on for our seniors. And so that in conjunction with Triad, uh, we're trying to do a lot to improve the quality of life for our seniors, aren't we, Cheryl? Yes. And, you know, our vision with law enforcement is we don't want to have any of our seniors victimized or scammed. And so we're trying to do prevention. And one of the things that I also do is I go out and give presentations in the community all the time. I personally have about eight different topics, and I speak where two or more are gathered. And by educating them the scams that are going on, it has really helped. I had one of our members called me. Uh, I had just spoke to her neighborhood watch group, and the very next morning, because of what I had told her, she might have been a victim, but she told me she had gone to her bank. She came out, and a lady asked her for money and said that she was in from Texas and she had a little baby and she was a business person and just didn't have money to get back to Texas. So I had told her what to say, so she called her back into the bank and told the lady, ma'am, I will be glad to help you. We're gonna call 911 and get an officer out here to help you. And when our public, when we teach them this, when we help our citizens and especially our seniors to say these things, it, it helps them to not be a victim. And in that case, she was not a victim, but it quickly showed her because the lady's like, oh no, you don't need to call the police. I don't wanna have, and she said, you don't understand. Our officers really like to help people here in Oklahoma City. And she kept saying, oh no, and then she finally left. But she noticed as she left, the lady uh, made a signal to two men that were in a parked vehicle two cars down from her. So she was very glad that I had given her that advice on what to do because she said I might have accidentally gone ahead out of compassion and given her some money. Yeah, our police love to help people. They really do. The good people. Yes. And then they like to help the bad people. In That's a right. Way. That's right. One more time. We're out of time. One more time. Inform Seniors seminar is yes. coming up when? It's April the 11th at 8 30 in the morning at the Northeast Regional Wellness Center and it's going to be at 2600 Northeast 63rd. Fantastic. You seniors out there that have watched this program, you've seen the enthusiasm that Eunice and Cheryl have to help you have a quality of life in these later years uh, that is unsurpassed. Take advantage of the opportunities that are offered you. May God bless you and may you enjoy a quality of life in Oklahoma City like none anywhere else. Thank you for watching.